skydiving. This is amazing. Yeah, but you know what else is amazing? An iPhone 6S for just 49 bucks at Metro. Really? Imagine streaming all the way down with that amazing camera. I'm switching. That's smart. You know what else is smart? Parachutes. Woo! Switch to Metro and get an amazing iPhone 6S for only 49 bucks. Metro by T-Mobile. Phone offer requires port in of number not currently active on T-Mobile Network or active on Metro in past 90 days. See store for details and terms and conditions. Welcome to Life Transformation Radio. This show is all about life transformation and our journey from where we were to why we are doing what we are doing today. We will discuss the hiccups, the roller coasters, and the blood, sweat, and tears that has been poured out while discovering our purpose. It is all about our transformation. Here is your host, Sean Douglas. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Life Transformation Radio. I am your host, Master Resilience Implementer, TEDx Speaker, Performance Enhancement Expert, and author, Sean Douglas. This show is currently heard in over 58 countries, such as the U.S., India, Canada, France, Australia, Belgium, and Panama. So I want to thank you to those who are listening from around the world. Life Transformation Radio is all about our transformations. Here is where we tell the stories of why we're doing what we're doing. We highlight that transformational moment that changed our lives and how we use these to help transform others and elevate their lives as well. Now, you can listen to us live at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, but we are at a special time today, live at noon Eastern. Join our Facebook group community, Life Transformation Radio Community. You can subscribe, rate, and review the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, Tune in Player FM and the Google Play Music app. On the show are entrepreneurs, speakers, business owners, coaches, podcasters, authors, and other amazing people who are impacting the world around them. And my guest today does exactly that. If you have any questions for any of the guests that I bring on the show, this is a live show, so you can call in at 657 383 1109. Again, the number is 657 657- Three eight three one one zero nine. So please help me welcome to the show, Yvonne Larson. What's going on, Yvonne? Oh my goodness! Hey. Well, what's going on? It's, it's the Fourth of July. Hello, like this is right? you know, such a great day. We're gonna have so much fun this evening. Fireworks is like something I love, love, love every single year. Doing that whole thing and being with friends and family—it's so super awesome. I'm sure you have Absolutely. some great kids <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah this is going to be amazing so so if you're ready let's dive right in let's do this so this episode is titled play to win with Yvonne Larson so I met today's guest known as Vitality Vixen at the New Media Summit last September in San Diego her energy exudes joy play and healing which filled the entire room at the conference I wanted to know more about uh, where, this all, where all the vitality came from and charisma came from. And through getting to know her story, I found out that it comes from her mission, which is to transform the conversation around suicide from one of silence, disgrace, and shame to one of transparency, reverence, and compassion. She believes the root cause of the increasing suicide rates is that we have become so enmeshed in the hustle and crushing it that we have lost our ability to live a life of fulfillment. She believes that play creates the congruence and balance our lives are lacking. She has several vehicles for sharing her healing and loves such as singing, writing, mentoring, and intuitive body work, to name a few, and she is always looking for the next great adventure to make an even greater impact on the lives of those she serves. For those of you who care about titles, Yvonne is the master massage therapist and a Reiki master known as the neck work expert. She invented her very own technique called the brain activator massage. Now, I've heard that, uh, that this thing is the new hotness. So I want you all to know that this is the new hotness and uh, <laughs> will increase your, your, your brain capacity by like uh, 20%. Or something. So after 17 years of coaching, she holds five master level certifications as a life coach, executive coach. NLP practitioner, which I love, love, love NLP, 
time dynamics practitioner and a hypnotherapist. So, so look out because she might be uh, working herself into your brain a little bit. This unique combination of skills and training, her brand transformational body work is in high demand. You can get her free gift. Get your vitality back in the free 10 video Get More Energy series at her website, thevoiceofvitality.com forward slash energy. In the show notes, all of the links, her podcast, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all of the links are there. So check her out, look at the links, and connect with her. So after all that, holy crap, you sound like freaking... Amazing, right? I mean, doing a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff. And yeah, I definitely love the NLP. That's that that type of work is very very fascinating. Oh my gosh, just absolutely changed like my life. Like I know that on your show, you take people through the process of like why they do what they do and how yep. they got there, the transformation that they went through, and like NLP was absolutely one of the turning points that made such a significant difference for me. So. I know we'll get into that, but uh, oh yeah, Dr. want to. <laughs> Perfect. So, so let's start off with the first question. You already, you already uh, kind of hit on it a little bit. So, so what is your why? You know, do you have a deep why for what you do? Uh, uh, why did you decide to do what you do now? Right. Um, <clears throat> I would say that you know we in life there's a why there's a motivation behind everything that you do. So, you know, you can have like your big why and then you can have all of your, your smaller whys. And why I became a healer is different from why I am now pursuing the podcast, the Play to Win podcast. So I want to actually lead with, you know, where I'm going now um, and maybe circle back to talk about how and why I became the healer that I am. Um, but yeah. specifically, when it comes to the Play to Win podcast, um, I, the why behind that is that I have been in the last 20 years as a massage therapist, I've attracted to overachievers, like high producing people, um, you know, big thinkers, change makers, influencers um, to my business. And the type of work that I do with people, they, as they're working with me are, they're so transparent and they share with me things that I, I mean, I don't know why it's happened to, to me ever since I was nine years old. I don't know what this gift is, you know, how, how I got this blessing, but um, uh-huh. they share things that they ordinarily wouldn't share with other people. You know, their, their breaking points and so on and so forth. So it's, it's like I have been making a difference for them in that way, but I'm surrounded with that kind of individual. And during the course of the last 20 years, I've actually lost a handful, you know, around five individuals to suicide. And, and, you know, exactly. And I know this is something that's like near and dear to your heart that you speak about, that you and I have in common about, you know, a, a mission. Yeah. Um, because when this happened for these individuals, I was beside myself. I, I thought these are incredible people. They have incredible knowledge and skill sets and tools and resources. How did they get here? And, you know, very recently, we just want to extraordinarily successful people and they and fade and you know, once again, top of their game, you know, big producer, and and then how did they get where they're getting? And yeah. so my why was like I I, be, I began asking that question, and in the process of my own life taking on twists and turns, you know, found myself in a very similar place, and you know, I went through my own deep dark place around this whole thing. But I want to point to this, once again, the play to win podcast. Like, why why am uh-huh. I naming that, right? Um, I came up with this 
after like, I mean, I've been working on this since like last September, so many different iterations, <laughs> what I'm trying to put out oh, there, yeah. but it really needed for me, it needed to, to, to put first the two things that are my core values. And that is play and congruency. And I believe that the congruency is the key to allowing people to have both play and winning in their life. Now, there's a ton of podcasts out that are about oh, yeah. and goals and how to and maximizing and effectiveness and grinding and hustling and crushing and, and all of these things. So, like, we are not low on how to achieve success. What I believe is the problem is we are not focused on the play side, the, the art of fulfillment. And why, why that is an art is that each of us has our own internal guidance system, our own wisdom, our own dreams, desires, and, and all of that, and, and needs. And because it's specific to each individual, we've been instilled with those things you know, through birth, what we're put here on the planet to do, every one of us has a very different and special purpose. Right. And if we ignore that and we're always, you know, pushing through and producing results with never calibrating that, that I believe is where the problem is then. And I'm, I'm sure that you can attest to that as well because my big tie in into your world is that the U.S. Air Force, I, uh-huh. I think this is going to blow your mind. <laughs> I think this is okay. going to blow your mind. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So <sighs> the highest leading cause of death for active duty men in the Air Force is suicide, 47.5%. Yep. Yep. And that was the last yep. stat that they had August of 2017. So, yep. I mean, talk about being incredibly framed, integrity for service to yourself, excellence in all you do. Like, if everyone, yep. on the, every human on the planet lived from this space, what a different world we would have. But there's something to disconnect those individual right. feelings fulfilled. Like, why are they not happy with the results that they're producing? Why aren't they giving themselves credit for that to allow themselves to live, you know, a very congruent life with having both fulfillment and achievement? <gasps> yeah, that's my they, say the, <laughs> they say that the military, <laughs> they say that the military as a whole is uh, is one of the most stressful jobs that you could have, you know. And mm-hmm. I was like, well, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, well, yeah. You know, you have these these 18 and 19 year old kids coming into the military and expected to defend freedom, you know, and there's been a huge mindset shift. You know, when you look back, I mean, the the military isn't something new. It's not it's not relatively new, you know, and they've had, you know, 18 and 19 year old kids come in the military before, you know, but the mindset was. Suck it up, America. We got we got freedom to defend. You know what I mean? Yeah. World War One, yeah. World War Two, Vietnam sent how many people over there? You know, mm-hmm. I think I think they said like one of the world wars. I can't remember. I had to look up this, the actual stat. I think World War One is like the most deaths, like two hundred and something thousand people died in like World War. You know, it, it it was a mentality that well you signed up, so suck it up, America. You know, but now yeah. they're like, yeah. well, let's let's really taking consideration the human aspect of somebody who is joining, you know, let's, let's look at it because things have changed. You know, we're not going out there and, and fighting the same types of wars back in world right. war, Korean war, Vietnam, like we, we're not, it's not the same thing. It's not the guerrilla warfare. You know what I mean? It's, it's exactly. precision. It's precise. You don't need people to do it. We have all the missiles and the bombs and the, you see what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I remember when I joined, 2003, my first deployment, you know, I, I joined in 2001, got into my first duty station in 2002, and I joined when I was, uh, when I was just 18. I joined, uh, yeah, right as I was 18. So a year later, I'm 19, you know, and I'm at my first duty station in England, and then deployed to Iraq in the 2003, you know, Iraq war. 
so I was already there in, you know, enduring freedom and Iraqi freedom. Like I was already there early mm-hmm. in 2013 or 2003. Uh, 2003. And, uh, and, and it was this, I mean, that was the mentality even then was like, we have a job to do, you know, we're war, suck it up, buttercup, you know, and just do it, you know, and, and guys were coming home messed up. They were coming home with the PTSD. Like it wasn't something that was thought of, you know, and a lot of people lost, lost their life because of themselves. Uh, taking their life, you know, so I fully agree 100% with what you're saying. And now there's a lot of programs in mm-hmm. in the military, not even just the Air Force, but in the military that are focusing on those who are coming home. And, mm-hmm. and you know, we're trying to get away from PTSD. We're calling it post-traumatic growth. It's, they want you to grow through whatever you endure, not just, not just endure. Love right? it. Love it. Yes. Yeah. So, so the resilience program that I that I um, that I run here uh, on the base that I'm at is all about grow is withstanding, recovering, and growing through the adversity, stress, and the changing demands of life. Mm-hmm. And it focuses on mental, physical, social, and spiritual domains of resilience. And so resilience in the last I can tell you in the last four years has become like a buzzword. It's a hot topic. It's what everybody cares about. It's you know, and we've seen self-defeating behaviors. Like literally, there's a stat that 36 percent of the self-defeating behaviors that we've seen in the past are no longer there. They've got rid of self-defeating behaviors because of the resilient skills that they now receive. They're now better equipped to manage change effectively, including deployments. Um, you know, when, when you're going down range and maybe you're getting shot at, or you know, you're dealing with these things that we have to deal with. So there's a lot of work being done. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's what's wonderful is that that exists in the military. What, you know, for the average individual who isn't in service, <laughs> um, yeah. what True. they believe is available to them are, you know, the, why well, I love NLP so much is, is the, the, pace at which things can change versus, you know, spending decades in psychotherapy or, you know, talk therapy, which absolutely 100% has its, its place. But when you're an individual who isn't, doesn't perceive yourself to be um, mentally ill or having a chemical, de- uh, you know, um, imbalance, um, right. and you're going through these things that you don't, you aren't even you you don't even identify them when they're happening. You don't un, you don't the exhaustion the the chemical imbalances that are inc- occurring in your body because of the diet that you're on or the you know how your body is receiving and processing the the nutrition that you're re- you know taking with vitamins or food or whatever like all of that is impacting your your person. It's it's affecting right. you on a holistic like holistically like you know as as a whole and and when these things begin to get out of balance because we're pushing and we're grinding and we're crushing it so much these other these other side effects of depression start to show up and as someone who's high achieving suck it up buttercup to use your words you know like that's still happening for business owners and and you know other individuals they're just and when it happens understand it and you don't you you feel like you can just power through it but in in actuality you need to step back look at it see you know what what is going on that is a valid thing that's occurring to me so this i'm I'm not crazy i'm not making this up it's not all in my head (laughs) yeah yeah and i and i want to and i try to throw this out there as much as we can because people get it get it kind of twisted that You know, PTSD and all that stuff, you know, as it is a buzzword and a hot topic, whatever, you don't have to be in the military to have no. PTSD. No, you know, exactly. and a lot of people are like, oh, my gosh, like, you know, this, this I, you know, I, I have PTSD because I was in the military or, or you know, I've got this, whatever. It, but, but they forget about, like, like, childhood trauma that people have gone through. Yeah. And now it affects their adult relationships. You know, exactly. we forget. 
that people like like I always say like, you never know what people are battling with, you never know what people are struggling with, you mm-hmm. never know what people are carrying around with them. You just mm-hmm. you just never know. Mm-hmm. And it's it, it's just remarkable the things that people have been through that you know that 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 they don't want to talk about. You know, yeah, well, and just, I, yeah, I feel so honored and blessed to have been led this this the field that I'm in, you know, like I'm people refer to me as a healer. Um and you know, sometimes that that has a weird, you know, like that feels weird. But, you know, all that means is that when someone comes to me, I'm like I'm I'm interacting, you know, the format of what I do is massage, right? But it's so much bigger than that. It's, it's way far beyond that. Like as that person comes in, I'm not looking at them as a body. I'm looking at them as a whole person. And I know that you're doing right. the same thing in the work that you do. But like mm-hmm. I have so many questions because just like you're saying, the things that you on the outside, and this, this goes back to me saying like changing the conversation from disgrace, shame, and silence to transparency and, you know, compassion and, you know, being congruent in order to allow people to make that transition Mm -hmm. that they can realize that what they're going through isn't unique to them. You need to ask so many questions and and allow them to realize that you are another human being that wants to support them by having them be seen and heard and knowing that they matter and that they belong. And as you ask these questions and they begin to get that sense of security and safety with you, it's amazing the things that you'll find out. And then you begin to see, is is this mental? Is it spiritual? Is it your last guest did such a beautiful job of describing what I do. Um, I've actually been doing emotional body work since 1997, and I believe that the need oh, cool. for it is actually increasing at such a rate that a lot more people are joining me in this field. But I, I'm not going to go into explaining that. If your listeners didn't listen, <laughs> whoever now didn't listen to last week, go back and listen to last week, and it'll explain a lot of what I do when it comes to the emotional side of things. But beyond that, I'm looking, you know, like I said, I'm energetic. I'm looking at mental, spiritual, when did this happen? What right. um, resources have been installed in, in the person that I'm working with that are out of their reach at the moment? You know, sometimes, even though you have a massive skill set and tools, you can't access yep. them. Because there's a mental block to it. You know, some, somewhere along the line, you've adopted some kind of belief that is uh, denying access. <laughs> it's denying access to the resources right. that you have. And I, like I said, with these really incredibly gifted, talented people, they actually have yeah. the resources to turn around, but they aren't having any conversations to get, gain access to those resources once again. Mm-hmm. So that can come around they come out of it and then it and yeah it sounds it, yeah. it sounds like what, what what i heard earlier was a little bit of emotional intelligence you know you talked about yes. you know inclusiveness and you talked yes. about you know meeting them where they are and you yes. know and it sounds like a little bit of emotional intelligence like meeting them with empathy rather than sympathy and yes. and they're finding that when you can when when you have a lot of emotional intelligence when when you can actually utilize this particular skill into situations that they found that just having sympathy, which, which really is pity, right? Having yeah. pity on somebody. And, mm-hmm. and really what happens is you have, you know, this, this, <laughs> it's not really pity, really. I mean, cause you're think about it this way. If somebody dies, you're like, Oh, I'm so sorry. You're, like how many times have we said that? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And you're just like, yeah, mm-hmm. thanks. Cool. Yeah. You know, like, you know, but when somebody comes to you with empathy, it, like you said before, I loved the questions because it changes it changes the the, the, the questions it, it changes you know the, the oration that comes out instead of saying you know oh how are you feeling that must be tough you know what I mean like that's yeah. that's like you know what I'm saying oh I'm so sorry for your loss I I 
Ugh. And people well, say that because they don't know what to say. Like, literally, if you ask them, like, I don't know what to say. Yes, one of the things that just popped into my head based on what you're sharing is the saying, speak first to understand, not to be understood. Right. And I believe that that is like a, 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 a life hack on empathy. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. When you can meet people, yeah. When you can meet people where they are, right. Mm-hmm. Instead of like, oh well, you know that must be, you know, oh, sorry, you know, that's tough. You know, you're just like, well, geez, well, you know what I mean. But so you know, I had a friend. I had a friend just just recently um, lost her mom. Mm-hmm. And I walked up to her, gave her a hug. You know, said, how you doing? She said, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm like. Yeah, I know when I lost my grandfather, you know, it was it was really tough. You mm. know, he was he was my he was my rock. He, he was our family's rock. He was the, the the spiritual leader, you know, and and it's you know, it's mm. tough when when you lose, you know, a, a family member that you think so not to say that no not not every family member is, you know, highly thought of, but you know, when it, when it's this one person that you know is the glue of the family, you mm-hmm. know, uh Oh, it's tough, you know. She goes, yeah. Oh, you're personal, she, Rob. She was that person, you know? yeah. Yeah, and, oh, and and it was just Rob. we connected in that moment, right? And, and I met mm-hmm. her where she was, and I said, okay, well, if you need anything, you know, let me know. And um, you know, that I mean, that was that was the conversation. It was like, oh, sorry for your loss. You know, if you look at the Facebook, it's like, sorry, 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 like because we don't know what to say. So yeah, definitely empathy, meeting them where they are, um, identifying with. You know what I mean? And, and like you said, you know, uh, understand first, you know. So so is there a let, – let's talk about a transformational moment. You know, you kind of touched on it a little bit, and, and maybe we need to solidify it. Is <laughs> there a transformational moment that put you on the path to what you're doing right now? Was there a moment in time, had this one thing not happened, everything uh, else would have never happened? Ah, uh, okay. So I am a girl. Girls like to cry. <laughs> Try not to, <laughs> <laughs> um, because I don't want pity. Like I like this. Whatever doesn't yeah. kill you makes you stronger. Thank you, stronger. I'm I'm uh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, I'm strong enough. Um. So. <laughs> um. So, I I basically, the exact thing that I'm pointing to with this congruency about, you mm-hmm. know, not just allowing. <sighs> the circumstances that you're in, the the values that are instilled and installed in you from birth, you know, from your family, from your friends, from your church, you know, from from lineage, you know, um, current roles that you that you are in, like not allowing those things to take precedence over what your own dreams, desires, needs, and personal values are. Like when that happens, that's when the split occurs and you start being untrue to yourself. My personal experience, how I know this, yeah. is that um, I got into an eight-year relationship with someone who we had so much of the same training you know, maybe not through the precise same teachers, but we had the same tools and skill sets. And as I went into this relationship, it was a very um, conscious relationship that I was entering into um, of like, okay, so we are coming together as two whole individuals who are powerful, high achieving, very intelligent um, individuals on our own. And as we come together and move forward together, that who we are for each other are the catalyst for being our greatest self. And everything that happens in our lives together is a result of who we are for each other. Now, doesn't that sound amazing? Doesn't that sound like oh, yeah. like a bulletproof relationship? <laughs> oh, yeah. It sounds way good. Yeah. Everybody right? should enter into one of those. <laughs> that should be the that should be the the, the new hotness the uh, that should be the new standard. <laughs> yeah, right? holy cow! Well, Jeez. yeah. So what, one of the things many years ago I wanted to create is something called transforming. I do so that's like the place that I oh. I would love to see marriage 
move into. So yes, please. That would be, oh my gosh. So, so right? I, I don't mean to interrupt, but I, I, yeah. I, I'll lose this thought if I don't say it. Yeah. So, so when I hear things, it starts mm-hmm. to pop into my head. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Just, I'm, I'm a visionary. Okay. Uh-huh. I see this as a spiritual course. Uh-huh. For newlyweds, like like bef- yeah. like marriage counseling before they get married, right? I see this as an annual conference for mm. couples, maybe a couples retreat. Oh mm. my god, like in Bali or something, or like yeah. Australia, like yeah. a couples retreat, like like you know, transforming. I do, right? Yeah. Because well, people so- want tra- tra- the word transformation. That's why I chose it for my show. The <laughs> word transformation. Yeah speaks volumes the word transformation you know the the power of that just just even hearing it means i'm going from one place to another yeah, right yeah. transforming i do could be a worldwide global marriage conference like like <laughs> retreat even but, oh god you need to do this okay I'm well, well because, you're, because you're taking it there i i'm gonna i'm gonna go there with you so um the whole process of this was me looking at like this whole thing of divorce and like what, you know, and this ties into what I'm doing now too, but it's like when you don't take the time to see what your, um, your like NLP, like what is your operating system? So what are your beliefs about marriage? What has been installed and instilled in you about marriage from your family, your culture, your spirit, your, your, your church, your this, your that, whatever, like, what yep. is marriage to you? If you don't know what that is, you are not actively going into a new relationship consciously. So, you know, what then we're led to do <clears throat> is, you know, fix being alone, fix being a single parent, fix doing better with taxes, getting health insurance. Like if marriage becomes something that I believe it was never meant to be. And so this process of transforming I do was this process of looking at what is already there on, you know, running you around marriage Mm -hmm. and dismantling it, actually choosing what you want it to be going forward. And I do is an active, it's, it's, it's a right now phenomenon. It's a generative phenomenon. When you get married, you don't say, Oh yeah, I did. Oh, sometime in the future I will. Or if you, then I, (laughs) not that, Right. right. Like it's I do it's right now and right now and right now and right now it is an everyday every moment constant choice to be your best self for that partner and, and bring it and that's I there I maybe maybe three possibly five couples I've met that seem to live in the area of what I envision being possible mm-hmm. so. And, you know, and then there's, like, all of these things that are happening with relationships and, like, all of these, I mean, there's so much going on around that that it became, it just seemed really huge and important. Yeah. To take on. Um, I'm not opposed to taking it on at some point in the future. I'm not short on ideas for transformation. I am an idea accelerator. <laughs> give me a C. Yeah. In 10 minutes, I'll give you a maple tree. <laughs> I like it. I like where you're, I like where your mind's at. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> but that's good though. Like, you know, because yeah. you, you have to go through that. Right. I mean, that's, that's kind of part of the process. And when you can, when you can hit that head on, you know, mm-hmm. I just, I, I feel like, like, I feel like it's an asset, you know, like, yeah. you know, just a couple of minutes ago, I was like, Oh my gosh, I can see this, you yeah. know, and you always have to keep one of us around, you know, as the visionaries, you know, because we'll we'll start just conjuring things up and go, okay, it should be this and this and this is what I see. And then we need somebody else who's not like that to kind of reel us back in. Like, yeah. okay, squirrel, come over here. <laughs> yeah. Come over yeah. here. So. Well, bringing it back to the yep. story, bringing it back to the story, um, which is great. We just covered that because I, in this relationship, I took that on. I was like every single day, every single moment, I do, I do, I do, I do. What do you need? Great. Let's do that. Oh, your family needs this. Let's do that. You know, oh, you know, oh, you're, you know, he was a crazy, amazing golf player. Like he was a, um, what is it? Plus two, like, what, like, like better than scratch, whatever the, he was crazy. You know, um, 
during the course of our relationship, I created like affirmations for like his swings and, and, you know, like, like everything that I could possibly do to, to cause and support him in being successful resulted in him on the uh, golf channel amateur tour being number one for uh, Southern California and Los Angeles. Like he was number one that year in 2009. And I know, like, as I said, what we created as a relationship that I fulfilled on my part of like, I know that that result, I am, I caused that result as a team, what I, how I supported you and how I continue to say, I do, I do, I do. What is it going to take? Let's do this. That those results were produced in his life. Now it took eight years <laughs> yeah. before I re- realized that I was the only one saying I do. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> And you yeah. know, the amount of effort and energy because, like, I, I was so committed to, you know, having a great relationship that my focus was no longer on what my personal needs, wants, desires, dreams, and values were. And little by little, I became smaller and smaller and less and less happy and felt more and more alone. And it was – and once again, I couldn't see it. Like, I was experiencing it. Right. And I was – fighting it and you know it got so bad that this is horrible i'm admitting this to the world um (laughs) um i buy a bottle of wine and drink it before going in the house (laughs) wow i know to deal with how alone like I, i i needed to numb myself to the point that i couldn't even go in the house unless i was numb and that's insane. it was horrible <laughs> it was horrible and that wasn't the worst of it it like it was the turning point where you know i got like wow you know what i i love you i i will always love you i think you're an incredible person but this is a very one-sided relationship and as many times as we have conversations about this like nothing is shifting and i'm lying to myself to think after this long with this pattern that I've seen, like you, you've shown me who you are. You've shown me what you're committed to by where you spend your time, your energy and your money. And I'm not a priority and I can't make someone else a priority in my life who isn't going to be, it's not going to be reciprocal. And I think that, you know, where a lot of us as business owners end up is we're, Giving, 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 without making sure that we're doing business with people who are going to reciprocate and going to be equal in our, you know, business partnership, in the clients that we serve. Like, both individuals have to show up fully as powerful in order to have a right. outcome. <laughs> so, you know, I yep. was able to just end that. And then it was like this crazy pendulum swing from having completely forgotten the essence of who I am, like no longer having access to my, like to experiencing my greatness and accessing all my tools and resources to like, who am I? Like, you know, and, and like all (laughs) the stuff that was in my head, like, like the, the shame and the guilt of like, how did I get here? How did I let myself? I'm smarter than this. I know better than this. How did I allow my life to get to this? And, you know, like feeling like it's not, the, it's definitely the road less traveled. Like where, where is the damn path? <laughs> oh yeah. Back on track. Right. And um, I didn't leave. Definitely. Yep. So, um, you know, then that's when, you know, the whole, you know, fighting to basically, this was definitely the most productive part of my most recent life. Like I went into mass, like production. Okay. Let's see. I built my massage business Academy to help up massage therapists launch and grow their practice. Cause I'd already done it three different times in three different cities. You know, I, I got oh. that down. I know how to do that. I'm an excellent mentor in that regard. I'm producing, 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 and I'm trying to make up, you know, 
quote, make up for lost time for the eight <laughs> years I felt like I lost. Like where I, I, I felt like in that eight year period, I put my life on hold and now I, I had to get it back as fast as possible. And that is when I reached maximum fatigue and exhaustion and overwhelm and an even greater level of depression. <laughs> yeah, that happens. <laughs> and to the outside world, once again, they're like, wow, man. Things are going so great for you. Wow, look at all this stuff you're creating. Look at how successful. Wow, this is amazing. And on the inside, I was dying because I was letting that image speak for reality. And it wasn't my reality at all. And so that's like mm. where it clicked for me. It's like, like that question. I got the answer to the question I had been asking. Like, how does one who has all these tools and skills and resources and, and intelligence, emotional intelligence, uh, you know, and whatever. How do they get here? This is how. I'm here. It's me. I, I'm that person. Yep. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Now that I have the answer to that question, <laughs> let's ask a new and better question. <laughs> oh, yeah. How I always, I always find that you get, <laughs> if you yeah. ask better questions, you get better answers, which leads to better results. Yes. And so that's like where this whole, you know, congruency thing is like, okay, I have to start being congruent, being vulnerable, sharing where I'm at. And as I did, I began to hear, oh my God, I'm not alone. <laughs> and, you know, my, my name means, uh, Yvonne means courageous heart. So I think I was like born with this ability to like be courageous, take risks and, I typically am more vulnerable and transparent than people around me. And maybe that's why since age nine, people have come to me because they've noticed that gift. Um, so I feel like somehow I was able to um, express, you know what, Sean, do we have time for me to sing a song that, that I wrote about this? Uh, that- I mean, we got about, we got about 10 minutes. Oh yes, yes. I'll make it. I'll, I'll, okay. Um, cause this is, this is like the, 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 the story. So, <clears throat> cause it's about grace. So, uh, here we go. Feeling so all alone and I'm out of control, like I'm out at the ocean and I'm sinking fast. Feels like I'm ready to go. Can't let anyone know that it would be so easy to just go under. Where was the point that I lost myself? How did it come to this? Something's missing, something's missing. I don't even recognize myself no more. How can I find the strength? Face my fear and go back to the love of my family, the support of my friends, back to the place where I belong, the joy of my passion, the rich experiences of the values that keep me strong. Can I conquer the madness, disappointment, and sadness? Feel this deep hole inside me Will the pain ever end? Will I learn to let go So that I can be whole Ride the waves of forgiveness Back home to me Grace is the place that I'll find myself Now that I've come to this I see nothing's missing, nothing's missing, and I finally recognize myself once more. Now that I have the strength, I can face my fear and go back to the love of my family, the support of my friends, back to the place where I belong, the joy of my passion, the rich experiences. Of the values that keep me strong. <clears throat> so if something's missing, 
And you're about to go under. You gotta find the strength to face your fears. Call on me. Grace and courage. You can come back home. When you ride the waves of forgiveness, you're gonna be set free. Time now. Go back to your family. Back to your friends. Back to the place where you belong. And that sums up my story, my path, the solutions, my opportunity to take people through a process of going from, you know, where they have been in this place of silent desperation, shame, guilt, pity, anger, to a place of grace and and freedom and, you know, independence. (laughs) Independence Fourth of July. Wow. Thank you so much for letting me sing that because I feel wow. it really makes it it's the whole enchilada. <laughs> awesome. Very, very cool. <laughs> very, very, very cool. So wow. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, yeah. so as we wrap as we wrap up. Yes. Um, quickly talk about what it is that that really like what it is that you do and what you enjoy most about it. Hmm. So what I do, I'm I'm able to take people through this process of you know becoming congruent, looking at the you know like once again what has been installed and and uh, installed and I can't remember, instilled and installed in you, and begin to look at what is serving you and no longer serving you and what your personal needs, um, goals, dreams, desires are and finding where the overlap is so that you can create a life that has, you know, that you get to play and win at the time you get to have fulfillment and success and achievement at the same time. So I can do that when people are local you know, I can do that in person, one-on-one, on on the table where it it includes massage. Um, And if it's not local, then I can take people through a process, you know, over the phone, be it Zoom or Skype or FaceTime or whatever, to like begin them on this path of becoming congruent and having a life of, of play and, you know, winning and playing. And this is a process Typically, you know, everybody has a program, right? So um, a 90-day process of, like, discovering that, like, what is there to release? What is there to be healed from? And now what are you creating from that space? And having both the support to um, express what that is, what, you know, all of the different things that you're talking about, Um, what the adversity and the stress and life changing demands that are coming at you. Like how do you take those in, bring your new goals and, and desires into play so that you can actually create the life that you are meant to live and live your purpose and your mission and your vision and make the difference that you're, you're meant to make on the planet. So um, perfect. my bio has like all of the qualifications, but you know, sure. over 20 years and nearly 30,000 hours of working with people, I have heard probably everything you could possibly imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I feel like, you know, like this bio can't even possibly, it's the tip of the iceberg as far as like real life experience of working with people and really honing that skill of being compassionate and empathetic and allowing people to like let go of what is no longer serving them and embrace their best self. Boom. Love it. (laughs) So so talk about some of the resources. You have a free gift. Yes. Uh, In the, in the show notes, there is a free gift that everybody can click on. Um, but talk about some of the resources that you used or some resources that you, uh, that you currently have, um, that, that they can play at the next level, right? They can play to win. Yes. So I would say one, you know, resources, uh, um, uh, 
so many mentors have been so huge in my life. Like in the last 20 years, I've probably invested around a hundred thousand dollars in the different mentorships that I've had. Um, and I've been mentored by the best of the best, be it in business or metaphysical um, names, you know, I'll put them someplace. So I don't rattle them off here, but like very recognizable people, very high level people. And, you know, I think that the openness of being able to see so many different perspectives and um, ways to approach a situation gives me the opportunity to um, serve at a very high level. And so I would say resources there. We we're not short on free resources. You can YouTube anything. You can go on the podcasting sites and, and find anything you need. I would say as a resource, becoming self-reliant, what is it that you're looking for? Like put together a list of questions that is going to support you in searching for and, and finding those what those resources are. If you don't, you know, a map is useless if you don't know where you are. So, <laughs> right? so find out where you are and what the resources that you believe will allow you to live your best, you know, the next phase to up level, go to your next edge and, and break through it and create that list so that you know what it is that you're actually attracting to yourself as resources. <clears throat> um, but for me uh-huh. personally, you have the, the, the video series on getting more energy now. And inside of that, um, like when you opt into that video series, I will take you through 10 different strategies that will allow you to get more energy in your life, become more congruent, um, uh, create that balance between your personal life and your work life so that you are having fulfillment and success at the same time. And during that video series, I'll actually allow, uh, provide an an invitation for you to work with me, you know, on a strategy session uh, that doesn't cost anything to help, help you break through as you go through that series. If you run into a block, um, help you break through that block, and then obviously you'll know what it's like to work with me and have an opportunity to work more long term with me. So definitely opt in. Um, right now you can just go. You don't even have to do the board slash for energy on the homepage, um, but um, it will eventually live on the, on the forward slash uh, energy. <laughs> so yeah, and they can call me. Call me directly. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Anything else? So, as we <laughs> <laughs> as, as like we yes. close, I always do a shameless plug. You can plug okay. friends, quotes, websites, Facebook products, movies. Give a shout out, whatever it is. Deliver a message, whatever it is. This is your time to shine. Shameless mm-hmm. plug moment. Okay. Go. So I absolutely want to connect with any of your listeners who have. Like have a similar story to I that I have shared, not like specific details, but you are someone who is an overachiever and you definitely went to the edge of producing massive crazy results only to find out that you weren't living a life of fulfillment. Like I want you to contact me, um, go to the show notes and contact me um, so that we can like figure out when I can get you on the pod, the play to win podcast so that you, your, your story can be a message and a, and a light to other people. Um, I would love people to go to thevoicevitality.com to connect with me, um, be it work here in L.A. or um, over the phone so that I can, you know, so I can give back, pay it forward, all of the stuff that I've been through in order to serve others like I want to serve more. Um, I am right now moving towards a keynote concert so if anyone Ooh. wants to, uh, exactly so this is you know similar to what we just did i told some stories and i sang a song that t- put a nice bow on it so um i can take certain messages certain t- talk t- topics and you know create a keynote concert that's perfect for your corporation your business your team your leadership like whatever um limitation that you're experiencing in your um culture, I can create a keynote concert that will allow you to go to the next level and build that camaraderie and connection and um, collaboration that is missing. And so you can always go to the networkexpert.com. <laughs> awesome. 
So yeah. as we close, can you deliver your best nugget of knowledge that will motivate, transcend, and inspire someone to take action today? So I like what Dolly Parton says. <laughs> I'm a singer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that I'm like a country fan, really, but I just love this quote so, 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 so much. Don't get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. Oh, don't forget. Say don't it again. Get, don't forget. Don't get so busy making a living that you uh-huh. forget to make a life. Don't get so busy making a living that you forget that you- to make a life. Huh. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. Very cool. I like yeah. it. That's a great yeah. way to end the show. Amazing. Not <laughs> for fireworks. So, so this was so, so this was absolutely amazing. Absolutely incredible. And uh I just want to thank you so much for your time. Mm-hmm. And uh and and this is going to be an incredible, incredible, incredible um this is gonna change lives. I mean just okay. just listening to this, I promise yes. you this episode, I have a feeling that, that someone's gonna read this or uh listen to this. Yes. Someone's gonna listen to this and uh and, and they're gonna change lives. Well just I so. thank you John so much for allowing me to come on your podcast and share my story and my offerings. I, I I'm so grateful and this conversation was like fast and and full of so much so it was i i had a total blast you're a, a great podcaster <laughs> i'm so happy to know you. <laughs> oh, thank you we'll have we'll have to have you back for like a follow-up episode because we didn't even get a chance to talk about the podcast like really dig into like the play to win podcast and so if i wanted to listen to the show where can i find the show um so it's going to be um the play to win podcast.com play to win podcast.com. It is not live yet. I am currently doing interviews. <laughs> so I have not yet launched. Got as it. Of so July you, 4, so you're going to drop like four episodes right at once, right? Exactly. Yes. 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 Yep. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Beautiful. So Yvonne, this, is, this has been amazing and I look forward to that. I'll subscribe to that show because I'm sure it's going to be incredible. And I want to, Again, to just thank you for your vulnerability, your transparency, and living the, the, the truest you that you did here with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. Life Transformation Radio listeners, if anything resonated with the show, you can go to iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, Google Play Music app, wherever you're comfortable listening to podcasts, and go ahead and subscribe and even download the shows. Share it out. If you think anybody needs to hear anything that's on the show, share it out to them. And I ask that you rate and review the show so that we know how we're doing. And it gets you know people noticing the show. If anything that you've heard today, if you resonate with Yvonne and her mission, she would like you to join her at the intersection of playful possibility and rapid, expansive growth. You can get in touch and stay connected with her at her email address, the Vitality Vixen at the Voice of Vitality.com. Or you can go to giftme.life for her free life transforming five day optimal life challenge. And last but not least, if you're an entrepreneur and if you think you would be a great guest for her play to win podcast, she is actually currently taking applications. So send her an email if you want to be on her show, and hopefully I'll be sending an email very soon for that show. So, (laughs) Yvonne, do you have a quick strategy to instantly start living a life of fulfillment? I say tune in to your own inner wisdom and stop looking for all of the answers from other people. Oh, I love that. You know, just to add to that, um, is <laughs> is is crazy that we live in the reality of what other people think about us. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right, right. I mean, we live yeah. in the reality of what others think about us. We're so worried about what the next person's going to think, what this person's going to think. Am I good enough? Am I like? We put so much energy into that mm-hmm. than just living our truth. Marilyn Monroe said. 
it's none of my business with any what anyone else thinks about me. <laughs> ah, there you go. Stop counting everybody else's blessings. Yes. Putting some Count weight your own. into what other people think about. It, Count your right? own blessings and be grateful for them. Exactly. Gratitude right. results. Yes. Yep. Exactly. So this has been amazing. This has been, oh my gosh, incredible, incredible episode. I love this. So again, thank you for your time. And as I close the show, I always say, live your brand. Find opportunities every day to live out the core values that you hold deep in your heart. And I call this living your brand. So until next episode, have a great night. Skydiving. This is amazing. Yeah, but you know what else is amazing? An iPhone 6S for just 49 bucks at Metro. Really? Imagine streaming all the way down with that amazing camera. I'm switching. That's smart. You know what else is smart? Parachutes. Woo! Switch to Metro and get an amazing iPhone 6S for only 49 bucks. Metro by T-Mobile. Phone offer requires port in of number not currently active on T-Mobile network or active on Metro in past 90 days. See store for details and terms and conditions. Skydiving. This is amazing. Yeah, but you know what else is amazing? An iPhone 6S for just 49 bucks at Metro. Really? Imagine streaming all the way down with that amazing camera. I'm switching. That's smart. You know what else is smart? Parachutes. Woo! Switch to Metro and get an amazing iPhone 6S for only 49 bucks. Metro by T-Mobile. Phone offer requires port in of number not currently active on T-Mobile network or active on Metro in past 90 days. See store for details and terms and conditions.